The Sacramento area is really ground zero for giant garter snake. It's really one of the last areas of the Central Valley where you see good, substantial populations of this important aquatic snake. We like to quote one of the first and most preeminent uh, giant garter snake and aquatic snake specialist, uh, Eric Hansen's father from a generation ago, who said, if you want to know where giant garter snakes are, find rice agriculture, the two are symbiotic, and that, that's really true. So without rice agriculture, really, we think that there would be a complete and total loss of these uh, important giant garter snake populations in the Central Valley of California. What happens in water short years are that habitat and range for giant garter snake are lost. They're completely gone, so that puts a very severe strain and stress on the populations. What that means for us as both rice agriculture people and habitat lands management people is that we have to be really smarter about what we do. We have to be sharing, we have to be cooperative, and we have to be collaborative so that the remaining lands that have water do a heavier job and a bigger duty to try to preserve and protect this important animal. It's really kind of interesting. There's a symbiotic relationship. So there are so many other threatened and endangered species that rely on environments that are very similar to giant garter snake. So really, if we manage for giant garter snake, we're managing for many other species as well.